Privilege Deceit, based on a true story. Teaser, over black, the sound of a hard driving rain. Super, the following is based on a true story. Fade in, exterior, Beverly Hills, mansion, backyard, night, 1947. Stylish two-story home, perfect landscaping, nice furnishings, pool, the surface of which is being pounded by the downpour. The back gate pops open. Gaynel Moretta, late 40s, enters. Elegantly dressed, umbrella overhead, quick steps towards the house. Super. Beverly Hills, California, 1947. Two rapid gunshots. The flashes illuminate the area and cause Gaynel to flinch. Gaynell quickly snaps her attention to the home's second-story window. I once heard a minister say that tragedy enters our lives through the evils we choose to embrace. Another shot. Another flash. Another flinch. Damned if he wasn't right. Gaynell stands numb for a moment, then collapses to the ground and begins to sob. She's oblivious to the rain, pummeling rain falling upon her. Prelap, the subtle hint of a live band playing a Dixieland jazz tune. A beat. Then the music takes us to... Fade to Black. End teaser. Act 1. Over Black. Super. 28 years earlier. 1919. The music is low, but building. Fade in. Exterior, Pacific Ocean, night. The faint shimmer of lights pierces the darkness. We move towards them, as if by boat. Exterior, Venice Beach, Ocean Park Pier, continuous. The structures become more visible and are outlined in bright, crisp white lights. The exciting, dangerous, sexy, and even a bit decadent music builds to a feverish pitch. Exterior, Ocean Park, Dome Dance Pavilion, Continuous. A stream of people comes in and out of the entrance exit. Interior, Dome Dance Pavilion, Continuous. Dozens of couples pack the dance floor, swinging to the devil's music, hot jazz. The dancer's vigor and passion matches the music's energy and enthusiasm. The song concludes, and the crowd erupts into a thunderous round of applause. The band leader acknowledges the attendees with the wave and a satisfied smile, then turns to the band. One, two, one, two, three. The drummer intros the song. The beat is fast and furious. The crowd loves it and cheers wildly. On the dance floor, the black and white shoes of a man tap to the drum beat, then... When the song kicks in, they shuffle into a dance. The shoes of a woman move to the rhythm of the song. The two sets of shoes meet and begin to dance together. The song kicks into full swing, as does Gaino, now a teen, and Rennie Rockwell, also a teen, handsome, rugged-looking. Despite being one of the many couples on the dance floor, Gaino and Rennie are a handsome couple and stand out from the crowd. They have an exciting rhythm and energy that is unmatched by those around them. After several beats, Gaynell leans towards Rennie. Want to go to the beach? Gaynell flashes a coy smile. Rennie grins, takes Gaynell by the hand, and leads her across the crowded floor towards the exit. A sea of dancers swallows up the couple. Exterior, Venice Beach, later. The band plays in the background. Gaynell and Rennie are having sex. Gaynell is atop Rennie and is engaged in a slow, rhythmic, pleasurable rocking motion. Gaynell tries to control her breathing, but has little success. She gasps with pleasure, then giggles. A distant flash of lightning and a faint rumble of thunder captures her attention. She looks about. Looks like a storm's coming. Guess we better hurry, huh? Gaynell leans to Rennie kisses him, then leans back and aggressively increases her pace. A beat, then a moan of delight. Exterior, neighborhood street, night. 
A Model T pickup truck pulls to the curb. Gainel and Rennie exit. Rennie throws his arm around her. She snuggles into him, happy. As they reach the gate of a white picket fence, Gainel stops walking. Her smile fades. She locks a gaze on the Gaylord house. A run-down, disheveled shithole of a house. Gainel's stare at the house is cold. She is apprehensive. Oh, there are times I'd like to burn this house to the ground. A beat. Then, Rennie turns his attention to Gainel. You can always stay with us, Gay. Gainel looks to Rennie. She smiles, then pushes open the gate. She takes Rennie by the hand and walks to the front porch. Gainel steps close to the door. She listens for a beat. It is quiet. She returns her attention to Rennie and smiles. I had a great time tonight. She kisses him on the cheek, then pulls back. Thank you. Rennie opens the door, and Gaynell enters the house, the screen door closing behind her. Interior, Gaylord House, foyer, night. Through the screen door, Gaynell places her hand on the tightly weaved mesh. Front porch. Rennie places his hand on the screen door as well. He gazes upon Gaynell for a moment. He absolutely adores her. Marry me, Gay. Let me take you away from this. You're never going to give up, are you, Rennie Rockwell? Nope, not until you say yes. A beat. Gaynell smiles softly. Good night, baby. Good night, Gay. The door shuts. Rennie waits for a moment. A rumble of thunder causes him to look to the sky. He squints as the first few raindrops spatter against his face. Rennie quick steps towards his Model T pickup truck.